Hey, it's tournament time. We're at the Leverwitz Memorial and first annual tournament. It's uh, September the 12th, Saturday morning. All right, here I am with Steve-O, one of the tournament contenders. Who contends that he's going rock fishing in the middle of this tournament? You know what's gonna pop up in the rock fishing going on. Oh, he's got some sneaky stuff going on. Okay, all right, a little diversion. All right, good luck to you, Steve. <laughs> what is it, Tony? Halibut. Halibut. White sea bass. Oh, look at that. Holy moly. Oh, mama. Go, go, go. Hey, Jim, it's Yanni. I'm on something good right now. Oh, cool. Where are you? Uh, I'm out. Yeah, I'm in front of the condo at about 100 feet. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, it was the yellowtail and the seals got it. God dang it. Dang it. Let go of my fish! Yeah! It's a yellow. Huh? Yeah! Heck yeah, if we can get him. He's got him by the tail. I know. Believe me. <laughs> Oh, he let him go, he let him go. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, oh that's two, there's two seals. Ah, they're double. They are. Oh, not in the kelp. Oh, oh, no. Oh, now I got a bunch of kelp all over me. I don't know. Yeah. Oh well. Okay, Yanni, uh, nice and loud. Tell us what just happened. I saw marks on the bottom. Nice structure, bait. I was actually halibut fishing. I'm, I'm rigged up for uh, yellowtail and halibut. I'm down there for halibut. I get tapped like a halibut. All of a sudden, it starts running, and I'm on a yellow. Halfway through the fight, a seal comes and grabs it is joined by another seal and I'm fighting two seals for this yellow. They tangled me up in kelp and that was the end of the story. All I've got is my broken line. But I'm anxious to get back out in the same spot. I got my waypoint. I'm going there right now. Hey gang, you guys are inside the fisherman's belly and today we're doing something very special. We're gonna be doing a rack of white sea bass. I'm at my sister's house. I told her I had some fresh white sea bass. She called up some friends and some more family and we're just gonna have a happy get together tonight. Now, a couple of days ago, I was in a tournament for the James Leibowitz uh, Memorial and we had a great turnout. There were plenty of yellowtail caught and there were four or five nice size white sea bass caught. Andy Acevedo won the tournament with a 58 pounder. And thanks to a good friend of mine, Jim, I came home with a nice slab of white sea bass. So, here's how I'm gonna put tonight's dinner together. We're gonna take and we're gonna butcher this white sea bass. I'm gonna show you guys how to prep this. We're gonna create a fresh herb garlic marinade to lather up the white sea bass. Then, we're gonna parboil these potatoes, actually a little more than parboiling them. I'm gonna boil them until they're just tender. I'm gonna take them out of the water let them cool off, I'm gonna smash them, and then I'm gonna cover them with this herb marinade that we're making. So, the first thing we're gonna do is let's make this garlic herb marinade because it's gonna be the basis for our whole dinner. And after that, we'll butcher the white sea bass. And in the meantime, I'll start boiling these potatoes. And then, 
soon we're going to be chowing down. So hold your horses, here we go. Okay you guys, to create this herb garlic marinade, it's going to be fairly simple. I've got fresh rosemary from the garden, I've got garlic, I've got a couple of lemons, olive oil of course, and salt and pepper. So let me show you exactly how to put this together. Here we go. First thing we're going to do is bust up three big cloves of garlic. Here we go. Okay, now I'm not going to dice the garlic up because I really want it to flavor up this marinade as quick as possible. So I'm going to put some coarse sea salt on top of the garlic. And now I'm going to start smashing up the garlic. Wow, look at that paste. That's exactly what we want. Wow, there we go. Final chop. Perfect. There we go. Into the bowl. Into the bowl of love. There we go. Now let's get this rosemary. There we go. More ingredients for the bowl of love. <laughs> oh my God. I'm telling you, I just entertain myself a whole day long. Now we're gonna add some black pepper. A healthy amount of black pepper. There we go. Probably about two, maybe three tablespoons. A touch more salt. So we have a total of about two or three tablespoons of salt. And now it's time for the lemon juice. I didn't bring my lemon uh, strainer, so I'm going to use my hands to capture the seeds. Wow, there we go. Just like magic, right there. All right, it's time to add our olive oil. Maybe about two tablespoons. There we go. So we're actually going to use our hands and take this and spread it all over the fish once we get the fish butchered. Okay, so this is done and now it's time to butcher the fish. Oh my god, let's go. Alright, well the first thing I'm going to do, because I'm going to leave the skin on, is I'm going to scale this thing. I always use a butter knife when I'm scaling, it just, it's the easiest tool to use. Well, I'm done scaling it. I just rinsed the fish. Of course, I got everything all over myself. Oh well. All right, now the real fun part starts. Whenever you get a big hacksaw, meat hacksaw in my hands, watch out. Believe it or not, this hasn't been split in half yet. So as you can tell from this piece of fish, the head's missing, the collars are still here. So this is a nice healthy piece of fish. We'll start by splitting it. Ah. Wow, okay. Now we're gonna split this spine right in half. Just like a rack of lamb. Wow, wow. Look at that, look at this. Wow. And there we go, fellas. There is a rack of white sea bass. Almost completely prepped. I'm going to take some of this gook out of here. I'm going to sprinkle some salt on there and dig it out with my butter knife. And that'll be that. Take a look at that. That's the rack that we're going to be putting on the grill in its entirety. Now, I've, I've shown you guys this trick before. Sprinkle some rock salt. Use a butter knife and clean this gook out. All right, you guys, I'm just finished patting this dry right now. Take a look at that. 
And believe it or not, we are ready for our herb mix. Wow. This is how you do it. You use your hands and you just massage everything in here. Flip it over. And that's it, fellas. This thing is ready for the grill. I'm gonna put some cuts in here. Now these cuts will, will make it easy for us to portion out the fish, but even more important, these cuts will allow us to view the meat close to the bone so we can figure out if this is truly done or not. So, we've got our cuts, we've got our fresh garlic herb mixture all over the fish, and we're ready to cook this rack of white sea bass. I keep wanting to say rack of lamb, but it's a rack of white sea bass. All right, gang, remember the potatoes? Remember the potatoes? I had them boiling. I started them off in cold water, cold salted water, and I got them to the point where the skin is just starting to split. They're almost completely cooked through, I'd say about 95%. And just wait till you see what I'm gonna do with these potatoes. Okay, the potatoes have cooled off. I've got my fresh garlic herb marinade, same marinade that we used on the fish. And now I've got a nice big fat saucepan and just check this out. Remember, these are gonna go on the grill. So they're 95% cooked already. Here we go. Ah, there's the first one. There, smashed. There's another one, smashed. Ah, there's another one, smashed. Smashed. And these two. All right, these are smashed. There we go. Okay. And there we go. Okay, these are ready for the grill. All right, my grill is nice and hot, but I always love to oil the grill. Now I'm not gonna put the skin side down, I'm gonna put the meat side down. We're cooking with gas, boys. So there we have it, there's the potatoes, and there's the rack of white sea bass. Let's close the lid, and we'll check it in about five minutes. Awesome, okay, I think I can do this. All right, ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Nice, good wow. job. Everything's going good, it looks good, oh my God. All right, fellas, it's time to play. It's time to play. There we go. Wow, look at that. All right, one last act of kindness. Here we go, with the lemons. Wow, look at this, look at this. Rack of white sea bass, smashed potatoes, all over the grill, all with fresh herbs, garlic, salt and pepper, ready for your belly.